And our next guest is no stranger to the diversity question. Joining us now is Fox News contributor David Webb. David, welcome. Hey, David. Morning, guys. Morning, Abby. How are you doing? Feeling good. Good to see you. So, David, tell us, this diversity visa program, why was it conceivably there in the first place, and can we get rid of it? Well, it was conceivably there under a false premise that for some reason, immigration is about diversity. Immigration for any nation, not just the United States, is not about diversity. It's about who adds value to the country. And by the first thing we should have a problem with this program is the people are called lottery winners. Think about that. They're lottery winners, not visa applicants, people who've proven their worth or potential worth to the country. And one of the most ridiculous things I've seen in this program is if you're a 14-year-old, you can apply with a parent, or if you're a 14-year-old, you pay a little bit more applying without a parent. If you come to this country and you're 14, how do you support yourself? David, I think, I a, mean, lot these of, the, the, I think a lot of Americans are wondering why we continually look at diversity in America when we have a very diverse country that has all of these various ethnicities and religions and what have you and we don't seem to look at diversity in other countries I talked the other day about how monolithic it is in countries like Africa and the Middle East and we're not it, we never discuss diversity except mostly in America and Europe because it really isn't about diversity. When you look at what we do as a country, you know, they say we're anti-Muslim in America. Some are, and they accuse us of that. But yet some two million have come into this country through various means over the past several years. When you look at America and you come here from all countries, it's not about creating some social makeup or some social experiment. It's about economic foundation, supporting yourself, supporting your families. And by the way, the president's also right. We have got to get rid of chain migration migration because what we end up having are wards of the state or we continue to create and we continue to create an underclass of people who can't support themselves how is that good for someone who comes to this country but cannot function within the, the society right we were yeah. talking about that abby yep. we have it's interesting though you haven't heard democrats speaking a lot about this i mean chuck schumer says the president is politicizing this but for the most part it seems like they're kind of wanting to to not go there. It seems like you might be able to get some Democrat support to remove this. Looks like they've been exposed, right, David? Well, they have been exposed. The, the problem is that, the and, and I want people to realize that the foundation of this issue is what is immigration supposed to be? You're supposed to know who's coming to your country. They're supposed to add value to your country. Chuck Schumer and others who sponsored this bill, and frankly, Republicans yes. who in the past Republicans have failed well, to get yeah. rid of this bill, have not paid attention to the fact that there is no, there is no reason for this to exist that meets any standard of common sense. Yeah. So has diversity become sort of the political correct word to use when we're trying to get things like this passed? That, that's what it appears to be to me. No, it's, it's more than that. It's also an agenda to change the makeup of this country. Yeah. Uh, it, whether it's intended or unintended consequences, the fact is the result is you bring in, you break up the culture. Countries, nations survive because of a cohesiveness of culture. They also have diversity, real diversity. When people come in, add value, add their culture, that becomes a greater melting pot. Remember sure. that phrase? We've been the <laughs> melting pot since the founding well, of this country. That. Anymore, and, and, and this is what we still are and what we need to be. The right. American culture. That's what Americans right. want. You can still live the American dream and have a merit-based system. That's well yeah. said. David, good to have you on this Thanks, morning. Thanks, David. Appreciate your time.